We begin tonight checking in on the latest project impact in the way that you get to and from downtown Corpus Christi. That's right, Flat Iron Regatos announcing new lane closures that went into effect over the weekend that still seem to be catching people off guard as they start their week off. Our Lexus Green met up with the spokesperson for the project for some tips on how to navigate the new traffic changes. Lexus. Hey, and Leslie, yes, so these changes didn't happen overnight, but for some commuters, it might have felt like it. Despite the copious amount of signage you'll see in the Crosstown area, it helps to know what to expect and to keep things simple, trust the signs. Highways can be a dangerous place, even without major construction taking place. But with the new Harbor Bridge introducing the permanent change in our traffic flow, it's good to know your route before you're on it. So we ask commuters to please pay attention to the construction slide, slow down and follow the posted speed limits because this is an active construction zone. We caught up with one driver visiting North Beach for the first time, who said the cones and signs were a little jarring. It was definitely difficult uh, driving and all the construction and everything. I feel like the lanes are kind of all over the place. Melanie Raving from Austin, Texas is no stranger to a little traffic, but said despite the signs, she did feel nervous with the amount of detours and closures. And it's not super clear, like, you know, my GPS is telling me, you know, go this way, but there's like a lane closure, so I couldn't get off on there and I missed my exits. Lynn Allison, spokesperson for the New Harbor Bridge Project, tells 3 News that the best way to simplify things is by following this posted sign. It explains the lanes you need to be looking for so you can safely be in them when you need to be. You stay in the middle to go to US 181 towards North Beach. You stay on the left to go to I-37 towards downtown. And you stay in the right to go to I-37 towards Cal Allen, I-37 North. Allison says they know there will be some growing pains these first couple of days while drivers are getting adjusted to the new changes. So they have set up police and traffic control to help urge drivers to slow down and be alert in these areas. So just please ask the motorists, tourists, guests, slow down in the construction area. This is an active construction area. It will take a, a couple of days to get uh, adjusted to the new alignment. I drove the route more than a handful of times today, and it is something that you can get the hang of. TechSound has also joined in on the conversation about driving slow in these work zones and to bring more awareness about distracted driving, especially right now. Lynn said the portion of the project you can see behind her could be finished up by this summer. And again, left lane if you're trying to go downtown. And this is permanent, so you might as well start relearning those routes now.